Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ilyas and welcome to your sixth tutorial on jQuery. And starting from this tutorial, we are going to create a simple chatbot um, in jQuery. So in this video, in this tutorial, I will be only doing HTML and CSS. So in order to create our um, you know, user, user interface for the chatbot. So if you don't want to watch a video where I, you know, do all this CSS and HTML stuff and you only want to learn jQuery, you can actually skip this video. But for those of you guys who want to learn how to uh, simply and very quick create a, a nice uh, user interface, you can guys follow along. So let's start by creating a simple HTML structure and say jQuery chat, uh, chatbot. All right. And when I start making a web page or any web page, I usually start from the top to the bottom, so I would create a header first. So let's create a header. Uh, it's just simply an, an a div element with the idea of header. Uh, that's what I mean. And inside of my head tag, I would style the header the header tag. Um, just type header. I want my header to be like 100%. Hold on, what am I doing? Yeah. 100% percent width and like about 60% height should be good enough and background color let's just make something between gray and black which is mm, 666 I think no 333 is better um, like this yeah so let's check it out yeah this one and in order to get rid of this um, edges here, or these white edges, we can style our body tag and make it not to have any uh, margin, margin things. Just say margin zero. So it's gone. All right, great. Our next step. I what do I do next? I want to apply a shadow, just a shadow between this white area and and the header. So. Um, by the way, uh, I would recommend I would recommend you guys to use Google Chrome as a browser for developing, since it has all these awesome developer tools. And we are develop I'm developing this this page using Google Chrome, and I can't really promise you guys that this website will look the same if you are or like Internet Explorer or something. If you're on Firefox, it it would be uh, okay as well. But I would just recommend you guys to stay with Google Chrome. Anyway, uh, let's create a shadow. Just say box shadow. Uh, well, this is kind of tricky. You don't really need to memorize all the stuff. If you really want to learn something, something about shadows, you can just go ahead and Google. Uh, for example, uh, there are like uh, lots of. Uh, I don't want to go to my AdSense account. There are lots of uh, nice tutorials on CSS on the internet. You can just say CSS shadow. And I usually go to this uh, CSSTricks.com where you can, you know, uh, my internet is so slow today. Yeah, there are like lots of samples, examples. I usually use this website for my CSS stuff. Well, it's a very nice resource. Anyway, um, I wanted to create a shadow, right? Yeah, so now I have a shadow. And what I what do I want to do now? I don't really want my website to be that much white, so I think I will style the body tag and say background color um like kind of gray. Yeah, it's better. And now let's have a title here saying uh, jQuery to chatbot or something. So I don't really want my text to be all the way on the left or all the way or I don't know just in 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 the in the middle of the page. So what what I want to do is I want to I want to place my text just in between right right, right here. So I will create another development right here and type some text in like h1 tag and say jQuery chatbot version 1.0 and I will have to style this as well I can actually get rid of this I can select this h1 element anyway yeah alright um, 
my h1 element is placed within the header so I select the header and I go to h1 element and I want to say it should be like 100 1024 pixel width and um, margin 0 px which makes it to be like centered so let's see what, what do we get yeah and this is black currently and then I, I don't really like the the font so I will change the font on the entire page by saying font family Arial Arial would be okay I think sans serif all right and the color let's just say the color is white just very simple and I don't know really like it's just all the way on the top I wanted to have a like a padding I don't know like five pixels probably mm, let's just say 10 uh, I'll just say 12 all right great well now we created a header and uh, the text within the header and styled our body a little bit now let's create a, a container where um, the chat has the chat history will be uh, available all right the container for our chat I will just create an, a div with ID container and the container mm, I think I will use the same size like this and it will be also centered and the background color should be different like white and let's just create some border like one pixel solid um, solid we can use this one which, which we already used so I don't see it. Ah, okay. I forgot to say uh, the height, so I don't really want to have some specific height. So I'll just say mean height of 100 pixels. Yeah, and I want to put it like. Um, what should I do? Right? Okay. Let's just say margin top. No, margin top, 10 pixel. No, it's not enough like 20 pixels okay great Whew. I actually like uh, simple designs so and if you're a beginner though uh, it, it will be easier for you guys to uh, design simply and uh, now we need controls for our chat so let's just create a text area and a send button um, I'll create a new div element called controls not contrast controls and just create a text area inside of it text area and just say at some placeholder saying enter your message here ID text box should be good text box so this is our text area already and we also need a button like a send button or something I'll just say send and the ID send as well so I have a text area and my send button and now we are done no I'm kidding um, we also need to style the controls I'll just copy its title because I'm so lazy to type it um, let's just have the same things which we had in our container in order to center it and now let's see yeah this is better and now I don't really like uh, the text area because I don't want the user to be able to resize it so um, I say I can actually say text area since we have only one text area on our web page text area I think it's resize none but I'm not sure yeah it is and let's just make it all right, it's too small let's just make it bigger uh, by the way um, if you don't have any filling uh, like for sizes like how big this text area should be in order to fit 
so that the button fits as well. I usually grab this uh, Chrome developer tools and I just start typing here, like my approximate. And it's well, it's a very good tool though, because you can do stuff and you don't really need, you don't really need to save the stuff. So, for example, 1,000 pixels is too much, but I can press my key down button, like down button, I think it's called. So, just to uh, pick the perfect size, and let's just leave it at 960 pixels. Okay, width 960 pixels. Yeah, good enough. Now I want to style uh, the send, the send button, because mm, the send button is too small for me, and let's just apply the font size of 24 pixels to it. Um, now the text area is too large when the button is so, so just let's just adjust it so that the, the button fits as well. 900, 900. 40 pixels would be would be good. Okay. All right, so it's good enough. Um, we are actually done for this tutorial. I hope you guys learned new stuff and you liked it. So in the next tutorial, we will be starting programming jQuery, um, jQuery and JavaScript. So we will teach uh, the, the the chatbot to answer simple questions and stuff. And I hope you guys liked it and you learned stuff. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Have a nice one.